Welcome to all the mini enthusiasts and classic car enthusiasts. So I've done a few hours today. Uh, because I normally have to film on my own, I didn't get a chance to really show you the work because as you know, I can't edit this stuff. I'm useless with computers. Um, as I say, that side's done over there. I've done a fair bit of cutting back. Um, okay, so what I did was is, um, this is the this is the one I've this is the one I've made up. Uh, you can see I've uh, punched all the holes and it ready to go. You can see how it uh, uh, how it works. Um, what happened was is this is the original, which sat in there like that. But I didn't like the way that the uh, um, folded edge sat. It, it was too far down at an angle, so I, I cut it out and. And started again. What I then did was, is to, I guess this is a little bit like Project Binky, but they're far more professional than I am. And I made one of these uh, cardboard uh, templates, which basically fitted in like that. Very rough. I mean, they do them really nice. Uh, but it was enough to get the shape that I needed. And then I basically popped this down, and then cut the metal around it, and then folded it. Um, as I say, all I've got to do now is. Is sit that in a place, square it up, and re weld it. Just get it all squared up. But how I made it was with this uh, metal brake. Uh, this is this was from uh, Re Frost Restorations, a real basic one, quite small. You can actually make one of these out of angle In fact, in fact, that's been made from angle You can see, and it's just a matter of putting. I've doubled this over because this is quite. Uh, I think it's 22 or something gauge, uh, but you can see it's very easy just to. To lift that and, and and make a fold on it, but that's double the thickness. Um, and then you just basically unclamp it on these ends, and then slide it out, and there you go. And there's your. Well, you can, it depends whether you want 90 or you want more than 90 or 45, whatever bend you want. Um, and that's all there is to it. Really, it's quite quite basic. Um, you can actually do it with two pieces of angle iron. Uh, and then and use clamps to hold it, but it's, it just gives you a nice straight edge on it. So, so yeah, that's what I've been up to today. So um, that's it, really. Um, I've ordered the stuff from uh, uh, from Mini Spares. Um, the uh, so the wings and the A panels and uh, oh, this was something I want to mention as well. These uh, grommets that go in here, the metal ones they used to have. There might be one lying around somewhere. Um, I haven't find one. No, typical. Uh, they're, they're like a, a metal stamp grommet, these things. Um, and they don't make them anymore, so you have to use um, rubber grommets, which they're sending me a bag of, so I'll put all those in uh, once everything's cleaned up, the last thing before we clean up, hoover up and paint. Uh, and uh, the other ones for the boot. Because uh, there's little little holes for the boot there. Um, I thought I actually had one of those. Oh, hang on. Oh no, this is a grommet. This one. Uh, but they're like just basically just a metal tab. But like I say they don't make them anymore. Um, yeah, um, I've been in touch with this mini Vation that do these uh, hinges. They do the, the, the special hinge that goes on to the bonnet and I think they're 99 pounds. That's including the two gas struts which apparently screw in down here. So and apparently you don't have to drill any holes at all. So there's two gas rams with it, plus this um, stainless steel uh, uh, hinge set of hinges which allow you to lift the bonnet up normally and, and then lock it up into a, into a vertical position. Which is for a mini is really handy because you're forever smashing your head on that uh, uh, that uh, bonnet catch where the spring is. It's uh, where it where it centres the guide guide post, whatever it's called. Um, yeah. So, but I'll let you know. I'm going to. Uh, I've gotten to their website, so I'm going to order a package. And they do have other things, uh, body uh, um, bonnet strengtheners and bits and pieces. I think if you want to buy everything, including the seal. Um, the bonnet strengtheners and some other bits and bobs, but 130 quid. But I don't really need the, the hinges. I just think they'd be very handy. About 100 pounds, so with that, I guess, I don't know, 110 or whatever. 
on 20, whatever. Anyway, so that's it. Um, so tomorrow I'll fit this up. Um, it seems to fit pretty nice. Um, so, you know, that one over there looks really good. I just need to clean it up and then paint it all tomorrow. Get this one in. Um, and then I've got some bits of welding to do on the front. Just wait for these panels to come, really. And uh, and then we'll move on over the, after the weekend or before the week or yeah at the weekend or after. Anyway, take care. Hope the, you say so you got something out of it. That was quite easy, reasonably easy to do. I had to make. I think it, I know, it took maybe tops are probably an hour and a half or something to make the thing. Um, anyway, so I hope that helps. Um, and I'll talk to you in a few days. Take care and bye for now. Bye.